take action. Hello, my name is Mr. Thomas, and I am a music teacher, and then also I am a trumpet player. The trumpet is a wonderful instrument, just tubes and valves. We are gonna talk about all the parts of this instrument. I'm gonna, in this next few minutes, I'm gonna to try to teach you uh, the parts of it, number one. Number two, um, the concept of how it works. And number three, the reason why it's so fun to me. So come with me on this journey real quick so we can learn about the trumpet. Be right back. All right, so here we are in the location where we can clearly see the trumpet. All right, so we're gonna talk about the parts of the trumpet. So first thing is the mouthpiece. This is your mouthpiece. You are gonna need this because this basically puts the sound into the instrument. This is similar to a microphone. Here's the microphone, here's our amplifier. So if we don't get a clear sound and work on the technique through here, it's not going to come out here. Just like if I was to talk raspy or if I was to uh, not speak clearly in a microphone, it would not come out clearly on the amplifier, which in this situation is the trumpet. So mouthpiece, first thing, this is your mouthpiece. It goes into here, which is called the lead pipe. This area is called the lead pipe, or and also this area right here is because is what's called the mouthpiece receiver. Okay, there's an opening here, as you can see. That's the opening. You are going to put your mouthpiece in and turn it to the right slightly. You'll notice that if you continue to keep turning, it will continuously turn. All right, it is not a screw, so it'll keep turning as long as you turn it. But to safely make sure that it's in there, we just turn it to the right one time, we know that it's in there, it's secure, all right? It should not fall out when you hold the instrument upside down, and uh, it should be there securely with that one small turn to the right. All right, so that's our mouthpiece. That's our mouthpiece receiver here. This is the lead pipe. The lead pipe then, turns into the tuning slide. So the tuning slide is here. This is the tuning slide. This is what allows us to um, make the instrument longer in order to lower the pitch or make it shorter in order to make the pitch higher. If you have an instrument where your tuning slide does not move, I suggest that you take your trumpet to a professional, maybe a teacher or a uh, brass shop or somewhere that works on instruments so that way you can get that fixed because this needs to move as much as you need it to move in any situation all right so that is the tuning slide at the end of the tuning slide you'll notice that there is this little key here this is known as the water key there is condensation that builds up inside of the trumpet because we use air to make sound and with the outside air and the air that's in the instrument, the moisture builds up and therefore causes condensation, which at times needs to be released. This is the water key, and that's where the water will come out. Next thing, uh, very important. Well, I'll keep going with the slides. Here's your, your uh, third valve slide. Here's your second valve slide. And here's your first valve slide. The reason why they are called that because they are connected to what some people might call the buttons or the keys, but those these are known as our valves. Valves, okay? So our valves are valve one, valve two, and valve three, all right? These essentially will uh, make the instrument longer so that way the sound can either go lower or higher, okay? Depending on where we are on the instrument and what we're playing. 
These valves are used to play all the 12 notes that you could possibly play on the trumpet or in Western music. So the next thing is, where does the sound come out? The sound comes out here in the bell. This is the bell. This is known as the bell. Here's the bell flare. As you know, they call that the bell flare because it's flaring out. The sound comes from the valves. Well, it all starts from the mouthpiece. The air goes in, travels through the tuning slide. You press the valves, it goes through the valves, it goes through the channels, wherever the tongue, uh, the, the, which whatever ones you press, and the air goes through those slides and then comes out on this end here and around and out the bell. So those are the parts of the trumpet. Um, we have also our finger hooks. A lot of times trumpet players will put their fingers in here. This is normally uh, used for marching band situations or carrying purposes. This is not to be used when you're playing because if you understand the hand, the, let me put this down one second, the hand, the muscles in your pinky and your ring finger are attached. Okay, so therefore, a lot of times, if you notice, when you move your pinky finger, a lot of times, uh, by location and the natural habitat of the human hand, you'll notice that your ring finger uh, moves at the same time. So those muscles are connected. So we don't want to clamp down this finger. Okay, we normally, a lot of good trumpet players just rest their finger there. I have a habit of sometimes putting my finger in. So it's not like a don't do, but it is something that you want to be aware of. Okay. So that's your finger hook. The rest of these, uh, this is your hook for the third valve slide. Okay. We use this when we ever want to lower a note that uses the third valve slide. All right. And the same thing for the first valve slide, we move that out if we ever need it. Some instruments don't have the first valve slide and uh, the hook, and that's fine. Um, if there's ever a situation where you might need to use that, you just would slide that out. Again, if any of your valves don't come off, I mean, any of your slides do not come off easily, again, like I said, you want to make sure that you take it to a professional to get those worked on so that they move quite easily. Um, and lastly, um, a lot of times on this third valve um, slide, there is also another water key. Mine does not have a water key. So therefore, um, what I have to do is simply take off that slide and empty the condensation if it's ever in there. Okay, so that is the trumpet um, and the parts of the trumpet. If we and go into a little bit more detail if we want to open up the valves. At times, you are going to need to open up these valves to maintenance, to put maintenance on your instruments to maintain it and make sure that the valves move the way that they're supposed to. You'll notice on the inside of the valves, you will have uh, what are called felts. All right, these are important, okay, to make sure that the sound. Um, of the valves when they come back up in the valve chamber that they do not click and clack. On each of the valves, you will notice that they should have a number. So notice the number two there. My camera to focus, there we go, number two. So therefore, number two goes in, all right? And the number needs to be facing you as if you are playing, mm -hmm. if you are going to put that back in correctly. If you do not put the, the valves in correctly, the air will not come through and you'll notice that immediately. So if you pick up your instrument and you realize, oh, I can't get any sound out, no air will go through. It's probably because one of your valves are in the wrong way. Again, if you look closely, there is the one for valve number one. These are known as the pistons, all right, the inside of the valves. This is the part that you would put oil on if you need to oil your valves. 
Um, valve oil should come with your instrument. If you do not have valve oil, again, you need to go to a store or find a teacher or someone to help you in that process so that way you can have the valve oil. Um, I use um, Hetman, which is a very good brand. Uh, there are tons of brands out there um, and you can use those to lubricate your valves if you need to. Um, you'll notice that there are springs on the inside. These springs are here to help the pistons go up and down. Um, and you want to, you do not need to oil them, but you want to make sure that they are clean. Um, this, I can talk about this in another video where we actually go through cleaning the instrument. I can do that. But before we get there, just oiling the valves is very simple. All you want to do is open your, your valve oil and simply just take a couple drops and put them directly on the gray part, the piston. You, like I said, you do not need to oil the springs. And then you just put them back in, screw them back on. And boom, you're ready to go. All right. So those are the parts of the trumpet and some of the uh, information on how it works. Okay. Um, again, how it works, uh, is it, it all starts with other things like the embouchure. Um, embouchure we can talk about. Um, in a later video right now i just wanted to give you the parts of the instrument and then we can go into the next things after we know this information that we talked about so that is the parts of the trumpet hope you've enjoyed this small little tutorial um if you have any questions you can reach out to me uh leave a comment post uh, or email me or contact me i'll catch you guys on the next one